morning, my little angel. You just keep on sleeping, okay? Your mommy has to go rattle your evil stepmother's cage. Enjoy it while you can, Gwen, because Ethan won't be sharing your bed much longer. Roger has the proof that you and Rebecca tipped Ethan's true paternity to the tabloids. Once I find it, Ethan will leave you to be a family with me, Jane, and little Ethan. And you, Gwen, will finally get what you deserve. Nothing. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. You're really shaken up by that attempt on Alistair's life, aren't you? What gets me is that he didn't die. No. Well, I know he's a thorn in our side, Gwen, but he can't hurt us. Honey, I don't know about that. Why would you say that? I don't understand. I mean, what, what, did he threaten you tonight or something? Tell Ethan the truth, Gwen. You might as well get it over with. Did Alistair threaten you last night? Big time. That's why I caught Gwen ransacking Alistair's bedroom. No, and the Alistair did not threaten me. Hey, we have known each other practically our entire lives, right? Yeah. We could never even keep each other's surprise parties a secret, so how could we possibly ever keep something so important from each other? I know, you're right, you're right. I just... You seemed upset. Well, I am upset. I mean, honey, someone here in the mansion tried to murder Alistair. And it very well could have been Teresa again. She was certainly out of control when I caught her ransacking Alistair's room last night. You dishonest bitch. It wasn't me, it was you. You know, given how volatile she is, what if she tries to kill me next? Gwenny, Gwenny, Gwenny. When I'm finished with you, you're gonna wish that I had killed you. Because once I find the proof that you and your mother were the ones who sold Ethan out to the tabloids as a Bennett, your life's gonna be over.